Hello, viewers. A very good morning to you all, and welcome to a live telecast of the inaugural session of the Media Executive Committee meeting of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association being held in the Assam Assembly Hall in Guwahati, Assam today with a two-day program. In a short while from now, Mr. Om Birla, Speaker of the Lok Sabha of the Indian Parliament will inaugurate the Executive Committee meeting. The inaugural function will be addressed by the acting chairperson of the CPA, Mr. Jan Ladl Granger, the Chief Minister of Assam, Dr. Himanta Bisha Sharma, and the Assam Legislative Assembly Speaker, Mr. Biswajit Daimari. The Commonwealth Parliamentary Association Executive Committee meeting being held in India for the first time is being attended by representatives of 53 Commonwealth countries covering nine regions of the Commonwealth. The Executive Committee of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association usually meets twice a year. The meet will focus on a number of topics like a change of best parliamentary practices, study of different parliamentary systems across the Commonwealth, and on making parliamentary democracy more vibrant in the Commonwealth countries. You can see delegates coming from various Commonwealth countries coming to the Assam Assembly Hall, Assembly Hall premises. They are taking their seats in the Assembly Hall, expecting the arrival of the Indian Lok Sabha speaker, Mr. Om Birla, who will inaugurate the media executive committee meeting of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association. Here we can see more delegates who have come from various countries of the Commonwealth. Uh, they are members of the Executive Committee of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association. They will meet here for two days. After the inaugural function, the main meeting of the Executive Committee will start in the afternoon. And this will continue till tomorrow. And they will discuss various issues pertaining to the parliamentary democracy in the Commonwealth countries, their practices, and what reforms they can bring in to the, for a healthy, vibrant democracy in the Commonwealth countries. The Commonwealth Parliamentary Association represents more than 180 parliaments and legislatures in 53 Commonwealth countries. It is divided up between nine geographical regions of the Commonwealth. They are Africa, Asia, Australia, uh, the British Islands and Mediterranean, Canada, the Caribbean, America and Atlantic, India, the Pacific and Southeast Asia. 
Significantly, the executive meeting of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association will be followed by the Indian Reason Conference of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association on April 11 and 12, where the speakers, deputy speakers, leaders of the opposition of the various state assemblies and councils of the state would attend. Here we can see delegates coming from various Commonwealth countries who are representatives from their countries in the Executive Committee of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association coming here to India for the first time and it's an honor for Assam and the northeastern part of India to host for the first time the, the Media Executive Committee meeting of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association. Assam and Northeast are honored to host the first meeting of the Executive Committee of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association for the first time in India. It is hoped that the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association meet will further depend the roots of democracy and parliamentary practices in the region. The meet is also being held at a time when the neighboring state of Nagaland has elected at first, Women Rights Sabha member, Phang Nong Konyak. The Assam Legislative Assembly, which is hosting the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association Executive Meeting, was established in Shillong, the erstwhile capital of the composite state of Assam, on April 7. 1937. Situated in the northeastern part of India, Assam has a glorious history of her own, popularly known as the Ethnological Museum of India. Assam is described as a mini India, having a rich cultural heritage with diverse race, religion, and culture. It presently has a strength of 126 members representing different parts of the state. The Executive Committee meeting of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association is being held at a time when the Sam and her people are preparing to celebrate the Bohag Bihu, the biggest national spring festival of the state and the Assamese New Year. And on the agenda of the representatives who have come from different parts of the country are presentations of cultural events depicting the state's culture and rich, glorious heritage, visits to tea gardens, and the textile town of Sualkusi, where the heritage textiles like Andy and Muga of Assam are with. <laughs> Delegates slowly coming in to the Assam Assembly Hall, also of the Assam Legislative Assembly. There are the representatives of the Commonwealth countries are being welcomed with the traditional gamusa of Assam depicting the rich cultural heritage of the state. Members of the Assam Assembly are also coming in for the inaugural session of the mid-year Executive Council Committee meeting of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association. We can see the representatives being felicitated with the traditional gamosa. Communal countries represent those countries who were at one time under British rule. 
the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association has also provision for the Commonwealth Women Parliamentary Association where they encourage women members from the Commonwealth countries to congregate and discuss various issues pertaining to women empowerment, gender, and other issues to uplift the women folk of the Commonwealth countries. The Commonwealth Parliamentary Association also has a, a branch covering the disabled and other others under the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association. The Executive Committee meeting of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association will be followed by the Indian Regional Conference of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association. And here we'll find the speakers, the presiding officers, the deputy speakers, and leaders of the opposition, the opposition from various states of India congregating in Guwahati on the 11th of April and they will discuss the various issues pertaining to the healthy parliamentary practices in India. As we are aware, various reforms have already been undertaken in the Lok Sabha and Raisa Sabha of the Indian Parliament, but this has to percolate to the various state assemblies in different parts of the country. So this will be a forum where the presiding officers will meet under the leadership of the speaker of the Lok Sabha, Mr. Om Birla, and they'll discuss various issues pertaining to running of the state assemblies, the problems they face, what reforms are to be brought in for a healthy, vibrant democracy to function in India. Delegates coming from the various Commonwealth countries attending the media session of the Executive Committee meeting of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association are slowly taking the sheds in the Assam Assembly Hall premises. Uh, they are now awaiting the arrival of the distinguished guests who comprise the uh, Mr. Om Birla, Speaker of the Lok Sabha of the Indian Parliament. The welcome address of the inaugural function will be delivered by the Assam Chief Minister, Mr. Himanta Bisho Sharma, while the vote of thanks will be delivered by the Speaker of the Assam Assembly, Mr. Biswajit Doimari. Mr. Om Birla, Speaker of the Indian Parliament Lok Sabha, will be given a guard of honor on his arrival in the Assam Assembly premises before being escorted to the Assembly Hall. You can see representatives coming from various countries of the Commonwealth from Africa, various countries of Asia. In attendance here. Yeah. 
is very significant that the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association Executive Committee is being held in India for the first time and is being attended by representatives of 53 Commonwealth countries covering nine regions. And Assam is proud to host the first media executive committee meeting of the uh, Commonwealth Parliamentary Association for the first time being held in India. In a short while from now, Mr. Om Birla, Speaker of the Lok Sabha of the Indian Parliament, will inaugurate the Executive Committee meeting. The inaugural function will be addressed by the Acting Chairperson of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association Executive Committee, Mr. Jan Ladl Grenga, the Chief Minister of Assam, Dr. Himanta Bisha Sharma, and the Assam Legislative Assembly Speaker, Mr. Bishajit Doimari, will also address the inaugural function of the media executive meeting of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association. The Executive Committee of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association meets twice a year and the meet will focus on a number of topics like a change of best parliamentary practices, study of different parliamentary systems across the Commonwealth and on making parliamentary democracy more vibrant in the Commonwealth countries. We can see here member representatives of the opposition parties and the ruling and opposition parties of the Assam Assembly taking their seats in the, for the inaugural function of the uh, Executive Committee meeting of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association. Members from Africa, Asia and other regions of the Pacific, Mediterranean, and other regions are attending today's executive committee meeting. Representatives of as many as 53 countries of the Commonwealth are coming to the executive committee meeting here today. The Indian representatives in the Executive Committee of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association are Mr. Om Birla, the Speaker of the Lok Sabha of the Indian Parliament, Mr. Anurag Thakur, who is the Union Minister for Information and Broadcasting, and Mr. Bishwajit Doimari, who is the Speaker of the Assam Legislative Assembly. You can see here Senior Minister, Mr. Chandramohan Paturi, the Leader of the Opposition, Mr. Devabrata Mishiva Saikya, a Lady Member from the Assam Assembly, dressed in the traditional Mekhala Chadar of Assam. Members awaiting the arrival of the distinguished guests of our today's executive meeting of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association. Mr. Om Birla, Speaker of the Lok Sabha of the Indian Parliament, will inaugurate the executive committee meeting in presence of the acting chairperson of the Executive Committee, Mr. Jan Ladl Granger. The inaugural function will be addressed by the Assam Chief Minister, Mr. Himanto Bisha Sharma, and the Speaker of the Assam Legislative Assembly, Mr. Bishajit Doimari. 
delegates are coming from uh, different Kauva, as many as uh, 180 parliaments and legislatures in 53 Commonwealth countries. The Commonwealth countries are divided into nine geographical regions of the Commonwealth, like Africa, Asia, Australia, uh, British Islands and Mediterranean, Canada, the Caribbean, America and Atlantic, India, the Pacific, and Southeast Asia. Assam and the Northeast are honored to host the first meeting of the Executive Committee of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association for the first time in India. And it's hoped that the executive meeting of the CPA will further depend the roots of democracy and the parliamentary practices in the region. The meeting is being held at a time when neighboring state of Nagaland has elected for the first time a woman righteous of a member, Feng Non Konyuk. The Assam Legislative Assembly, which is hosting the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association's ex mid-year executive meet, was established in Shillong, the erstwhile capital of the composite state of Assam, on April 7, 1937. Situated in the northeastern part of India, Assam has a glorious history of her own. Popularly known as the Ethnographical Museum of India, Assam is described as a mini India, having a rich cultural heritage with diverse race, religion, and culture. Assam Assembly has a strength of 126 members representing different parts of the state. The Executive Committee meeting of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association is being held at a time in Guwahati, Assam, when the state and our people are preparing to celebrate the Bohag Bihu, the biggest national spring festival of the state, and the Assamese New Year. Representatives coming from the Commonwealth countries to attend the uh, Media Executive Committee meeting will have the opportunity of attending the festivities and cultural events associated with the Bohag Bihu Festival. They will also have an opportunity to visit the wildlife parks like the Pobitara National uh, Pobitara Wildlife Sanctuary which has a substantial population of the famous one-horned one rhino, which is famous all over the world. We have in Assam the Kajiranga National Park, the Manas National Park, the Orang National Park, and the Dibrusaikya National Park, among others which depict, which has a rich heritage of the state's flora and fauna. Delegates will also have the opportunity of visiting the f famous Assam tea gardens from where the internationally famed Assam tea is prepared. In Guwahati, they'll have the opportunity of visiting the rich monuments depicting the cultural heritage of the city and the state. The famous Kamaikha Temple, the higher institutions of learning like Guwahati University, the Indian Institute of Technology. We have also 
the refiner Guwahati refinery in the city, which depicts the the progress and development Assam has taken since its independence, India's independence, 75 years ago. Assembly Hall, which is hosting the media executive committee meeting of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association, is slowly filling up with the arrival of the delegates coming from various Commonwealth countries. Also in attendance are members of the Assam Assembly. The delegates are being welcomed by with the traditional gamosha of the of Assam and other gamosha of the at various ethnic groups. We can see here the the Mr. Doimari. Here is Mr. Om Birla, accompanied by Jan Granger and Chief Minister Himanta Bishwas Sharma. The distant guests, guests have arrived at the Assam Assembly. Here is the Speaker of the Assam State Assembly, Mr. Doimari. Here is Mr. Om Birla, Speaker of the Indian Parliament, Lok Sabha. Jan Grenga, Acting Chairperson of the CPA and Chief Minister, Imanta Bishwas Sharma of the Assam Chief Minister. They've taken this seat. A big welcome to the distinguished guests attending the Media Executive Committee meeting of the Commonwealth Honorable Parliamentary Speaker, Association. Om Birla, Honorable Ian Little Granger, Chairperson, Commonwealth Parliamentary Association Executive Committee. Honorable Chief Minister of Assam, Dr. Himanta Bissa Horma. Honorable Speaker, Assam Legislative Assembly, Sri Bissajit Doimari. Excellencies, Distinguished members of Commonwealth Parliamentary Association Executive Committee, Honorable Ministers, members of Parliament, members of Assam Legislative Assembly, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Assam Legislative Assembly and Commonwealth Parliamentary Association, Assam State Branch and Commonwealth Parliamentary Association, India Region, I extend a warm welcome to you all to the inaugural ceremony of the Media Executive Committee meeting of Commonwealth Parliamentary Association. It is indeed a matter of immense pride and honor for Assam that a mid-year meeting of Executive Committee of Commonwealth Parliamentary Association is being organized in India for the first time, and Assam Legislative Assembly is playing the host. We feel deeply honored to be able to welcome you all to the picturesque land of Blue Hills, the mighty Brahmaputra, endless tea gardens spanning the horizon, Magnificent forests where the one-horned rhino roams free, a land known for its smiling people with kindness in their hearts and warmth in their demeanor. Experience hospitality sublime. Be blessed by the divine goddess Kamakya. We hope that you have enjoyed this slice of heaven on earth. I would now request Honorable Chief Minister of Assam, Dr. Himanta Bisa Horma, to kindly deliver his welcome speech. Honorable Speaker, Lok Sabha, Sri Om Bilaji, Honorable E.N. Lidal Grainer, Chairperson, Commonwealth Parliamentary Association, Executive Committee, Sri Bishwaji Doimari, Honorable Speaker, Assam Legislative Assembly, Honorable Members of Commonwealth Parliamentary Association, Executive Committee, Honorable Ministers, Honorable Members of Parliament, Honorable Members of Assam Legislative Assembly, Ladies and Gentlemen.
First of all, I extend a warm welcome to Honorable Speaker of Lok Sabha, Sri Om Birla Ji, all the representatives from member countries of Commonwealth Parliamentary Association, and other esteemed guests to this inaugural program of the Mid-Year Executive Committee meeting of CPA being held at Gohati today. In seven decade old Indian parliamentary democratic setup, today is indeed a historic day. It is for the first time that the Mid-Year Executive Committee meeting of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association is being held in India. I feel immensely proud that CPA Assam State Branch has got the historic opportunity to host this landmark event at the at Assam Legislative Assembly, which is one of one among the many public institutions that has an enduring influence in the lives of the people of the entire northeastern region of India. Therefore, while welcoming Honorable Speaker of the Lok Sabha, Sri Om Birlaji, to this event, I also wish to extend my profound thankfulness to him for giving us this rare and remarkable opportunity to host this very significant event. This is indeed a proud moment for the people of Assam and in the legislative annals of our state, this day will always be remembered as a red letter day. I also feel immensely delighted to say that the representative from 53 member countries covering all nine regions of CPA have joined this event either physically or through virtual mode today. While representatives from member countries, including United Kingdom, Ghana, Malaysia, Australia, Zambia, Sierra Leone, Kenya, Tanzania, Barbados, Singapore, and India have come all the way to Assam to take part in this event. Representatives from rest of the countries have joined this event virtually. Assam is indeed proud and delighted to have you all amidst us. At this momentous occasion, I am pleased to inform you that our state, being the largest among eight northeastern states of India, is blessed with large variety of natural resources and very rich biodiversity. Assam is home to the famous one horn rhino at Kajiranga and other national parks which have variety of wildlife. Our state is nurtured by one of the greatest rivers of the world, Brahmaputra. Assam tea is fam famous throughout the world, and there are around 850 tea gardens in our state. The petroleum industry in India started at Digbo in Assam, and we have today four refineries and significant petroleum as well as natural <coughs> gas reservoirs. Moreover, in the democratic setup of our country, Assam Legislative Assembly, where the CPA meet is being held, is one of the oldest in India, second only to the Uttar Pradesh Assembly. Prior to India's independence, the whole of today's northeastern region of India Barring the present states of Manipur and Tripura, which were then princely state, constituted the Assam province, with Shillong as the capital. The Assam Legislative Assembly, which was initially a bicameral legislature, comprising a legislative council and a legislative assembly, came into being under the Government of India Act, 1935. The elected members of the assembly first met on April 7, 1937. In 1972, the state capital was shifted from Shillong to Dispur, and since then, 
the proceedings of Assam Legislative Assembly have continued in Guwahati. Incidentally, two days ago, this August House has completed 85 glorious years of its foundation. During the, <laughs> during the last eight decades, Assam Legislative Assembly has witnessed many historic debates with several towering personalities adorning this temple of democracy. Most notable amongst these luminaries was Bharat Ratna Lukopriya Gupinath Bordoloi, who was the first premier of Assam. This August House also a, played a pioneering role in shaping the socio-cultural and academic edifice of the state while giving a major push to Assam development narrative. It has passed many historic bills leading to unprecedented changes in people's life. With such a remarkable heritage and natural resources, Assam is proud to host this historic event. I hope during the two-day deliberation, while dwelling at length on wide range of issue of constitutional, legislative, economic, social, and cultural aspect, you will also take out time to enjoy mesmerizing beauty of our state and its natural resources and rich heritage. I once again welcome you all to this historic event and wish you a pleasant stay in our beautiful land. We are really glad to have you all amidst us. I hope during next two days you will, be, you will profoundly enjoy the beauty of our state and our warm hospitality. With these few words and welcoming you all again, I conclude my speech. Thank you. Jai Hind. Thank you, sir. I would now request Honorable Ian Little Granger, Chairperson of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association Executive Committee, to kindly address the August gathering. Thank you very much and good morning. Honorable Speaker of Lok Sabha, good morning. Chief Minister of Assam, thank you for your kind words in 85 years of um, this incredible place. The Speaker of Assam, good morning, sir. To CPA office holders and executive members, to honorable members of the staff of the Assam Legislative Assembly and the Lok Sabha, and the CPA regional secretaries and all the parliamentary staff, can I wish you good morning. It is incredible pleasure for us all to be here in Guwahati at the CPA Media Executive Committee meeting of 2022, hosted by the CPA Assam branch and CPA India regional branch, and to be here with all colleagues and friends as you said, First Minister, from across the world. It is an enormous honour. It's much more so because the, this meeting has been postponed because of the difficulties we had with COVID over the last two years. And I'm very grateful for the long patience that you've had for allowing us to come here now and actually finally do this. I'd also thank you all here in India, both federal and state, for being such an enormously important part of the CPA. We've just heard the history of the Assam region and it's fascinating. And you have been a hugely important part of the CPA family for very, very many years. We've been going since 1911. We are, I hope, historically still a great family of nations and a great family of people working together. This, I will say, is my first chance as acting chairperson and also embarrassing my first visit to India and Assam. It is a wonderful location. I had the great honour with uh, Joy and Shamu yesterday of not only going to see the wonderful Heritage Centre here but also the tea auction house in the, uh, in the town and that was absolutely marvellous. But I think what is so important is over the next two days, we have a chance to work, talk 
and get to know each other. There are many people here who I've never met. I've seen you on the screen, but can I say you're much better looking <laughs> when we're together? And it's just such a privilege to be here with you all today. I just want to, if I may, Mr. Speakers, is just to read out the purpose of the CPA, because I think now, even all those years ago, when they aspired to bring nations together across the world, and the Commonwealth, when Her Majesty started, was eight countries. We're now 54, and we've increased. But it was to connect, develop, promote, and support parliamentarians and their staff to identify benchmarks of good governance and the implementation of the enduring values of the Commonwealth. Well, I don't think you can better sum up why we're here today, that it is that wonderful family to which we all aspire and we enjoy being part of. To be able to promote good governments across 180 CPA branches, using our own internal governance as an organisation, our wonderful secretariat, is why these meetings, wherever they are in the world, are so important. They're crucial to make sure that we get the consensus on how to take matters, pressing matters together. We are like a family. We can fall out, we can bicker, but we come back together to unite in common purpose. Can I please also take the chance to thank Stephen Twig, who I've just realised is sitting in front of me. Stephen, I'm so sorry, I was looking for you, I couldn't see you. And the executive team, who do an amazing job in making sure that everything happens the way it should. There are only 20 of them, and that is to look after a large organisation like this is incredible. But can I also thank the regional secretaries, the committee members, and also here in India, just not across the world, here in India, because it has been wonderful. I've never seen so many protocol officers, I will say, Mr Speaker, absolutely wonderful. And I think that to sum this up, the next few days, both with our conference and with the India Regional Conference is a chance to reset our values, to make sure we understand where we're going in the next few years. And our challenge, Mr Speaker, is to make sure that we are able to benefit all our members, not just as countries or delegations, but as individuals. We are all parliamentarians. But to make sure that we move forward together as that family. And I would like to thank you again, if I may, for the incredible hospitality, the kindness, the incredible patience that um, when things go wrong, as they inevitably do, and the humour that we've all seen over the last few days since we all arrived. And lastly, can I please wish you a good conference? Let's all have a good and interesting conference. Lots of talking, lots of laughter, and lots of friendship. Mr Speaker, thank you very much. Sir. Thank you for your enlightening words, sir. I would now request Sri Om Birla, Honourable Speaker, Lok Sabha and Chairperson, Commonwealth Parliamentary Association, India Region, to kindly deliver his inaugural address. मंडल संसदीय संघ के कार्यकारी बैठक में राष्ट्रमंडल संघ की कार्य समिति के कार्यकारी अध्यक्ष शेयर पर्सन एक्सलेंसी यान लिडेन गेंगर जी इस राज्य के लोकप्रिय यशस्वी मुख्यमंत्री श्री हिमंत बिस्वा शर्मा जी असम विधानसभा के माननीय अध्यक्ष श्री विश्वजीत देमारी जी 
केंद्रीय मंडल मंत्रिमंडल के सदस्य रामेश्वर तेली जी माननीय सांसदगण असम सरकार के मंत्रिमंडल के सदस्यगण और सी कार्य समिति के सभी सदस्यगण मैं भारत की जनता की ओर से भारत की संसद की ओर से आप सबका हार्दिक अभिनंदन करता हूं स्वागत करता हूं ये प्रसन्नता का विषय है कि सी की मध्यवर्षीय कार्यकारी की बैठक भारत में पहली बार आयोजित की जा रही है और विशेष रूप से इसके लिए मैं असम विधानसभा के अध्यक्ष श्री विश्वजीत देमारी जी की सराहना करता हूं कि उन्होंने इस कार्यकारी बैठक की करने के निर्णय का जिम्मेदारी संभाली और विशेष रूप से राज्य के मुख्यमंत्री जी ने इस बैठक को भव्यता देने का काम किया जैसा कि मुख्यमंत्री जी ने बताया कि असम भारत का पूर्वोत्तर वर्ष क्षेत्र है जो देश और दुनिया में बहुत खूबसूरत है यहाँ की खूबसूरत वादियाँ यहाँ की घाटियाँ यहाँ की मनोरम नदियाँ माँ देवी काम्यका का प्रसिद्ध मंदिर यहाँ की बहु संस्कृति यहाँ की सांस्कृतिक धरोहर और विविधता वाला ये पूर्व प्रदेश भारत का सबसे महत्वपूर्ण प्रदेश है मान्य सदस्यों राष्ट्रमंडल संसदीय संघ में नौ रीजन के तिरपन देशों के 180 विधानमंडल के सदस्य हैं ये सभी सदस्य सामूहिक रूप से अपनी उत्कृष्ट परंपराओं प्रभावी नीतियों और नवाचारों को साझा करते हुए संसदीय लोकतंत्र को एक मजबूत और एक उचित प्लेटफॉर्म देते हैं ताकि हम अपने अनुभवों को विचारों को अच्छे नवाचारों को आपस में साझा कर कर लोकतांत्रिक संस्थाओं को सशक्त कर सके मजबूत कर सके मुझे खुशी है कि कार्यकारी समिति के चेयरपर्सन उनके सक्रिय सहयोगों से सीपीए ने अंतर संसदीय संगठन में एक विशेष दर्जा हासिल किया है और आज ये एक ऐसा मंच बन गया है जिसके माध्यम से हम अपने अनुभवों विचारों नवाचारों अपने अपने देश के अंदर लोकतांत्रिक व्यवस्थाओं से किस तरीके से लोगों के जीवन में परिवर्तन ला सकते हैं इसके लिए व्यापक मंच बन चुका है साथियों भारत लोकतांत्रिक मूल्यों और लोकतांत्रिक शासन व्यवस्था के अंदर प्रबल समर्थक है और राष्ट्रमंडल संघ के अंदर भी एक सक्रिय और जवाबदेही भागीदारी निभाता है दुनिया के 100 देश से ज्यादा देशों में आज भी लोकतंत्र है और दुनिया के अधिकतम देश अपनी शासन पद्धतियों को लोकतंत्र पद्धतियों के अनुसार चलाने के लिए 
लगातार प्रयास कर रहे हैं लेकिन भारत लोकतंत्र एक विशिष्ट स्थान रखता है भारत का लोकतंत्र बहुत प्राचीनतम है हमारी जीवन शैली में हमारे कार्य में हमारे व्यवहार में दुनिया का सबसे प्राचीनतम लोकतंत्र भारत का है और दुनिया के अंदर 130 करोड़ 130 मिलियन आबादी से ज्यादा यह देश जहां पर लोकतंत्र की जड़ें बहुत मजबूत है और लोकतंत्र हमें विरासत में मिला है हमने इस लोकतंत्र की सोच और विचार को और आगे बढ़ाया है स्वतंत्रता प्राप्ति के पिचहत्तर वर्ष की गौरवशाली यात्रा में हमारा लोकतंत्र और सहमत हुआ है मजबूत हुआ है परिपक्व हुआ है लोकतंत्र के प्रति नागरिकों का विश्वास भरोसा और बढ़ा है सत्रह आम चुनाव के अंदर मतदाताओं की लगातार भागीदारी बढ़ने से जनता में और विश्वास और भरोसा भारत के लोकतंत्र के प्रति बढ़ा है केंद्रीय विधायकी के रूप में 800 से ज्यादा मान्य सदस्य 4000 से ज्यादा हमारे राज्यों के विधायक तीन लाख से ज्यादा पंचायत नगर पालिकाएं हमारा लोकतंत्र का ढांचा ग्रामीण क्षेत्र से लेकर ग्राम की छोटी इकाई जहां ग्राम पंचायत जिसे कहते हैं लोकल बॉडीज लोकल ग्रामीण बॉडीज कहते हैं वहां भी लोकतंत्रिक तरीके से वहां पर सदस्य चुने जाते हैं इसी तरीके से अर्बन इलाके के अंदर भी लोकतांत्रिक तरीके से सदस्य चुने जाते हैं इसलिए लोकतंत्र हमारे नीचे से ऊपर तक हमारा लोकतंत्र सशक्त है और इसमें देश के नब्बे मिलियन नब्बे करोड़ से अधिक मतदाता सक्रिय रूप से भागीदारी निभाते हैं और जिस सहज रूप से जनता का जनादेश के आधार पर सत्ता का सहज स्थानांतरण भारत में लोकतंत्र में होता है इससे लगता है कि भारत का लोकतंत्र बहुत सशक्त है मजबूत है भारत का लोकतंत्र दुनिया का सबसे बड़ा कार्यशील लोकतंत्र है सबसे जीवंत और प्रगतिशील लोकतंत्र के लिए विभिन्न स्तरों पर हम लगातार जनता से डायरेक्ट इलेक्शन के माध्यम से हमेशा जनादेश लेते हैं भारत के प्रधानमंत्री माननीय नरेंद्र मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में हमारा देश लगातार हमारे नागरिकों के जीवन में सामाजिक और आर्थिक परिवर्तन करते हुए एक समृद्ध और विकसित भारत के रूप में उभर रहा है भारत में सबका साथ सबका विश्वास सबके प्रयासों से सभी लोकतांत्रिक संस्थाएं यहां पर काम करती है हमारी कोशिश होती है कि अधिकतम जनता की भागीदारी लोकतांत्रिक संस्थाओं के अंदर हो भारत की आज़ादी के पिचहत्तर वर्ष पूर्व होने पर हम आज़ादी का अमृत महोत्सव मना रहे हैं और ये अमृत महोत्सव में हम लोगों की भागीदारी और बढ़े लोगों का विश्वास और बढ़े इसके लिए देश की सभी लोकतांत्रिक संस्थाएं अमृत महोत्सव के माध्यम से जन जन से जुड़ रही है जिस प्रकार राष्ट्रमंडल विभिन्न देशों का समूह है और सामाजिक कल्याण के लिए काम करता है उसी तरीके से भारत में भी 28 राज्यों और आठ संघ राज्य क्षेत्रों से मिलकर एक देश बना है हमारी भौगोलिक हमारी सांस्कृतिक हमारी अलग अलग कल्चर अलग अलग एक्टिविटीज खान पान रहन रहन 
विविधताओं के होने के बाद भी हमारा लोकतंत्र और सशक्त हुआ है भारत एक देश ऐसा देश है जहाँ जितनी विविधता है उतना ही हमारा लोकतंत्र मजबूत होता चला गया है साथियों कोविड 19 की विश्वव्यापी संकट ने हम सबको प्रभावित किया है कोरोना महामारी ने हमें सिखाया है कि हमें सामूहिकता के साथ एकजुटता के साथ वैश्विक समस्याओं का मुकाबला करना हमारी अब नई जरूरत हो गई है इसलिए हमें कोशिश करना चाहिए कि हम किस तरीके से पूरे विश्व के देश मिलकर किसी भी चुनौतियों का किसी भी संकट का सामूहिकता के साथ मुकाबला करें राष्ट्रमंडल देशों की हमारी लोकतांत्रिक संस्थाएं अपनी प्रतिबद्धताएं एवं परस्पर सहयोग के माध्यम से वैश्विक चुनौतियों का मुकाबला करने में सक्षम है भारत जलवायु परिवर्तन के लिए सामूहिक हल निकालने के लिए कोप 26 के अंतर अनुमोदित लक्ष्यों को प्राप्त करने के लिए प्रतिबद्ध है इसके लिए इंटरनेशनल सोलर अलायंस जैसे इंसेंसिटिव हो ताकि नवीकरणीय ऊर्जा का अधिकतम प्रयोग हो सके भारत एस के लक्ष्यों को प्राप्त करने के लिए 2030 तक उस दिशा के अंदर महत्वपूर्ण कार्य कर रहा है भारत के कुछ जिले जो पिछड़े हैं उन आकांक्षी जिलों को मानकर विशेष रूप से एस के लक्ष्यों को तय समय पर पूरा करने के लिए काम कर रहा है भारत वैश्विक रूप से आर्थिक एवं व्यापारिक संबंधों को मजबूत करने के लिए सहयोगी देशों के साथ व्यापारिक समझौते कर रहे हैं ताकि हमारा दोनों देश या जिन देशों से हमारे व्यापारिक समझौते हों दोनों देश व्यापार की दृष्टि से समृद्ध हो पर्यटन और अन्य क्षेत्रों के अंदर हम सामूहिकता से काम करके किस तरह से अपने अपने देशों को आगे बढ़ा सकते हैं समृद्ध कर सकते हैं भारतीय संस्कृति में पूरे विश्व को एक परिवार माना है हमारी संस्कृति हमारे संस्कार में हमेशा हम वसुदेव कुटुम कम की भावना से काम करते हैं सारे विश्व को एक परिवार मानते हैं और इसको मानकर हम काम करते हैं हमारा अटल विश्वास है कि विभिन्न अंतर्राष्ट्रीय मुद्दों का समाधान आपसी बातचीत चर्चा और राजनयिक चर्चा समाज से होना चाहिए अंतर्राष्ट्रीय शांति और स्थिरता वैश्विक समृद्धि के लिए आज अनिवार्य है इसलिए हमारी कोशिश रहती है कि पूरे विश्व के अंदर शांति रहे स्थिरता रहे और सभी देश आपस में इसमें मिलजुल कर काम करें इसके लिए हमारी लोकतांत्रिक संस्थाएं संसद समय समय पर विभिन्न देशों के संस्थाओं के साथ संवाद करती है ताकि सभी देशों में शांति और स्थिरता रहे ताकि हम शांति स्थिरता के माध्यम से अपने अपने देशों के अंदर वैश्विक रूप से समृद्धि और विकास कर सकें आइए ये मौका है जब हम राष्ट्रमंडल संसदीय संघ के इस मंच के माध्यम से लोकतांत्रिक संस्थाओं को और मजबूत करें अपनी प्रतिबद्धताओं को बजाएं, विचार विमर्श अनुभव विचारों को साझा करें और अपने अपने देश के अंदर इन लोकतांत्रिक संस्थाओं के माध्यम से सामाजिक कल्याण कर सकें जन जन का कल्याण कर सकें और ये लोकतांत्रिक संस्थाएं जितनी सशक्त होगी जितनी मजबूत होगी उतना ही हम ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा जनता का अधिकतम कल्याण कर सकेंगे इसलिए आप यहाँ पर पधारे आपकी कार्यकारी बैठक दिन भर आज चलेगी विभिन्न विषयों पर आप चर्चा करेंगे संवाद करेंगे और आप आज की ये चर्चा परिणाम पूर्वक होगी ताकि हम संपूर्ण विश्व के अंदर शांति अस्थिरता के साथ लोकतांत्रिक संस्थाओं को मजबूत करते हुए सशक्त करते हुए किस तरीके से अच्छी बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस को अलग अलग लोकतांत्रिक संस्थाएं आपस में अपनाएं ताकि अपने अपने देश को लोकतंत्र को और मजबूत कर सके 
आप सभी को बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद जय हिंद Thank you sir for sharing your insightful thoughts with us. I would now request Shri B Sajid Doimari honorable speaker Assam Legislative Assembly and President Commonwealth Parliamentary Association Assam State Branch to kindly deliver the vote of thanks. Hi was speakers Lok Sabha Sri Om Birla ji Honorable Young Lady Senior Chairperson Commonwealth Parliamentary Association Executive Committee, Honorable Chief Minister of Assam, Dr. Himanta Biswas Sharma ji, Excellencies, distinguished members of Commonwealth Parliamentary Association Executive Committee, Honorable Union Minister Rameshwar Theli ji. Honorable Minister of Government of Assam, Honorable Members of Parliament, <coughs> Honorable Member of Assam Legislative Assemblies, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed our proud privilege to host the first ever CPA Media Expo meeting in India. The honor is further enhanced as this meeting has coincided with the 85th. anniversary of assam legislative assembly on 7th april assam is known as cultural museum of india has been ended blessed by the august presence of the rainbow of the commonwealth fraternity assam is state of tea this is known all over the world assam is known as a mini india where different tribes and communities having different cultures traditions languages and customs coexist peacefully and for you this is mini world also <laughs> like a world in assam there is many tribes and we have already seen yesterday also somebody who have visited in the border of bhutan is that it there is many tribes and they have different different culture different different languages so it is like a mini world it is a reflection of the commonwealth parliamentary association where people of different regions with different cultures come together in one platform my sincere thanks to honorable speaker lok sabha sri om birla for his insightful inaugural address my sincere thanks and gratitude to honorable granger ji chairperson of cpa exco for his speech which has ended embellished the proceedings of the inaugural ceremony today i also thank honorable chief minister assam dr himanta biswas sharma for his inspiring welcome speech and his generous and constant support which has made organizing of this historic event possible before concluding i would also thank all of you from the core of my heart for gracing this occasion in spite of numerous challenges of international travel with these few words i conclude my speech thank you once again joy hind thank you sir all honorable delegates may now proceed to the annex for the group photograph this would definitely serve as a memento of our time together after the group group photograph honorable delegates may kindly join for tea at the same venue thank you so much the inaugural function of the mid year executive function of the commonwealth parliamentary association has come to an end with the Vote of thanks being offered by the Speaker of the Assam Legislative Assembly, Mr. Biswajit Doimari. All your 
Speaker of the Indian Lok Sabha, Mr. Om Birla inaugurated the Executive Committee meeting. And it was addressed by Chief Minister Himanta Bisha Sharma. The main function will, the meeting will take place in the afternoon. And we now take you back to the studios of Dudarshan Gohati. Thank you so much.